Some Democrats say that it's time to impeach President Trump following Robert Mueller's public statement yesterday. The special counsel said charging the president with a crime was never an option, but he also said if his team had confidence that the president had not committed a crime, they would have said so. That's in contrast to Attorney General William Barr, who earlier said Mueller found insufficient evidence to charge. Well, CBSN legal contributor uh, Rebecca Royfe is here. She is a former assistant district attorney for New York County. And you were here yesterday watching uh, the statement with us all together. So here's the thing. Uh, you know, Robert Mueller says that um, William Barr's explanation for why the president was not charged with obstruction. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. William Barr's explanation and Mueller's explanation appear to be different. The attorney general was asked outright by Congress, did Mueller bring up the idea that there's a Justice Department policy prohibiting a sitting president from being charged? And Barr said no. But Mueller said something completely different in his statement yesterday. Right. And he said something completely different in the report. Mm -hmm. So um, it is clear that there is some kind of disagreement between um, Bill Barr and Robert Mueller here. Um, I think that what's important is to keep our eye on. I mean, I think the disagreement is, in fact, not as important as what Mueller said yesterday, mm -hmm. which makes the um, question of obstruction of justice extremely clear mm -hmm. um, that there uh, is this policy and the policy reflects our Constitution and the constitutional system. The system tasks Congress with holding a sitting president responsible for any kind of misconduct, not prosecutors, which means that prosecutors in this process are serving a different role. They're auxiliaries. They're like helpers to Congress. Mm -hmm. So their role, according to Mueller, is to get the facts to um, Congress mm -hmm. and allow Congress to decide, and the American public, of course, to decide whether to either impeach this person or to vote them out, um, vote the president out. And so that's Mueller's understanding of his role. Bill Barr had a very different understanding. Bill Barr said, no, we're prosecutors. Prosecutors always decide whether a crime has happened or not. Um, and he also saw the obstruction issue differently. So he saw it as there is basically no obstruction then there's obstruction, and then there's a gray zone. Mm -hmm. And what he thought was, or at least how he expressed it, was Mueller gave me this report and he, gave, he told me obstructions in the gray zone. We don't really know. These facts, eh, right, could mm -hmm. go either way. Mm -hmm. um, that is not what Mueller said yesterday, right? Mueller said there's obstruction, there's not obstruction. Mm -hmm. I would have told you if I could exonerate this president. Mm -hmm. I cannot fill in the blank, right? I mean, he was very, very clear. There's just obstruction and not obstruction. And so when Bill Barr said that, he either had a misunderstanding, a misinterpretation, or, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, as, as Mueller did not want to attribute bad intentions, but I think he has a, he, it's possible that he had an agenda. Those are, those are the three possibilities. Mm -hmm. So people might have listened to his statement yesterday and thought, well, you knew that you couldn't indict him no matter what you found out. Um, you know, he says in his statement that, you know, presenting a case essentially and not allowing someone to be tried and have a fair trial would, would be, you know, unethical, right? So you, you can't accuse him of anything. Um, but then people are going to ask, then why did you even investigate him for obstruction then if you knew that you were never going to indict him no matter what you found? Right, because I think, again, it's like this is the thing about our system. We have these separate institutions with different institutional roles. And these actors, people like Robert Mueller, believe in those, in everybody staying within their own lane. That's how democracy works. We don't go into somebody else's lane. We stay into our, in our own lane. So we pass this information over to Congress. Congress then conducts its own hearings mm -hmm. with its own standards and its own procedures, which in turn allow the president to defend himself in that particular regard, like in that way, in that institutional mechanism, through that institutional mechanism, not a criminal court. And so a criminal charge deserves a criminal court to defend yourself. An impeachment investigation or an impeachment vote for articles of impeachment has its own process. And those processes are important and it's important that they say distinct. I think that's his view and that's why he didn't want to um, opine on this. And, you know, it's, 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 it's somewhat ironic and I think sort of sad that he ended up being forced to do it because he did it as carefully as he could. He really did. He did, but he couldn't help it because Barr, Barr really forced his hand by um, 
making a, a different sort of statement that um, was contradictory to the subtle um, message yeah. that Robert Mueller was sending. So the subtlety just got lost in the partisan fight. Mueller had to come back out and say, no, you're saying it wrong. Mm -hmm. There is no gray area. There's obstruction and not obstruction. And all we told you is that it's not not obstruction, you know, right. that, that, that we didn't exonerate right. him. And that leaves, you know, it's like, okay, and now everybody's thinking, well, then Mueller just told us he did, right? right? Which is what Mueller didn't want to do to start with. And now, you know, now he's being accused by the right of being a partisan actor, which is exactly what he didn't want to have happen. Mm. So, you know, in a way, his effort to save the reputation of the Department of Justice as a as a independent and and nonpartisan body um, is. I wouldn't say failing, but it isn't as successful as it was before Barr um, rolled out the report the way he did. You knew it was going to be a tight, uh, a tight rope to walk yeah, for sure. A tough right. one. He says he wants the report and this statement to be his final word on the matter. I'm sure Democrats don't want it to be. I'm sure they're going to want to talk to him. Rebecca Royfe, thank you very much. Thank you.